show you how to include an if statement when you have a spreadsheet that you have to complete. I've got two instructions here whereby we are going to determine the capacity of the enrollments. If students enrolled is more than 7,000, display high, otherwise moderate. The second one says determine the budget by allocating 10 rand per student. If the capacity is 7,000 and more, or 5 rand if less. So what we are going to do is we are going to look at this spreadsheet and check the capacity and then on the capacity we need to display high or moderate based on the condition that we see here on number one so you can see that there we have students enrolled for different colleges and they all have their own numbers different so when you put an if statement cell selector like I did just now put the cell selector where actually you should start to calculate or to put the function to help you to check the condition so the first condition that I'm going to check is whether the students enrolled are more than 7,000 so the first thing is to put an equal sign and then you write if so I just put if there and then I will double click. So I just double clicked the if because it's a function is recognized by Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to click the figure that will be tested first to check if it's more than 7000. So this is what I do. I click there on 5.2 because it's the first figure for the first college. Then I will have to check, put a condition to check if it's greater than 7,000. Then if this is true, so I need to display something. And that thing which I will display is just a text that says hi. So if we want to test that this condition here is true, then we'll continue on the same formula and put a comma. Now after putting a comma, then I will have to write the results that I want if this statement is true. So the results that I want to display if it's going to check and found out that this is true, it must display high. So as you see, high because it's text, I put, I type it in quotation marks as indicated there. So what if the condition is not true? Then I will have to display another text that says moderate. So I put a comma. Then I will have to put the results that will be displayed if the condition is not true. So I just included moderate in the quotation marks. Then I close the bracket. I press enter on the keyboard. So you can see that it wrote moderate for me because this college only has 5,200 and that is why we have five, uh, moderate because it's not more than 7,000. So I'm going to autofill this answer. After I autofilled, you can see I have high and moderate because the only college that exceeded 7,000 is a Tibet. Now let's look at the second instruction. Determine the budget by allocating 10 rand per student. If the capacity is 7,000 and more or 5 rands if less. So here what happens is that we are going to give every college 10 rand if they have 7,000 if they have 7,000 in capacity so it means 
it's now we understand that because now we said high if if it's high actually here it should say the capacity is high so the the statement here is determine the budget by allocating turnaround to the student if the capacity is high okay so i will just write here high and and more okay so it's the capacity is high, we are going to allocate 10 rand per student. And, or 5 rand if not. So it means now we are looking for a condition that is high. If it's not high, obviously it's moderate. Then we give every student 5 rand if it's moderate, the budget. So now I'm going to put a function there that says if. Now in this case we are testing the results under the column capacity. So if the capacity is high, we are going to give every student enrolled that college according to number of students, we are going to give them 10 runs if it's high. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to test the results of capacity here. Then I will have to say equals to, then I give, I'm going to write high. Because I'm testing if it's high. So if it's high, then what should display or what should happen? Then I put a comma. So after putting a comma, then it means this is a calculation. If the condition is true, then a calculation must happen. So what will happen is that I'm going to calculate by multiplying the number of students enrolled with 10 rents. So I will just click there on student enrolled multiplied by 10. Then what if the condition is not met as high? Comma. Then this is where now we concentrate on if the st statement is not true. Then we are going to multiply the same students enrolled with 5. Just like that. Then I will have to close the bracket and press enter. So you can see that the budget for moderate is 2.6 for the first one. And then when I go up down to autofill, I realize that the figures are not the same because the entrance any one is higher because they had 7,500. That is why they have 75,000 budget. So this is how an if statement works. So if you want to show the formulas for these results, you will just go to formulas and show formula like this. So that now you see how my if statement is actually different when we look at the one that display text and the one that will do calculations for us. Thank you for watching this. Please don't forget to click subscribe if you didn't subscribe so that you can find notifications or see notifications for new updates.